Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The big day has arrived. Icon Swaps 2 is here. Now, it's of course confirmed for today because we have this loading screen telling us that Icon Swaps is dropping today on Monday. I want to take a look at how it might actually be a pretty crazy day of Monday content in this game with Icon Swaps, maybe that flashback Griezmann SBC. And upgrade packs. Those are the three big things potentially that could be coming today. Of course, icon swaps and upgrade packs, basically just about guaranteed. Upgrade packs aren't guaranteed, but we get those just about every single Monday. So we're hoping for something insane in that category and department on this game. And of course, everybody's going to be switching their minds over to grinding objectives and getting either icons or packs. And I want to talk everything related to icon swaps too and how that's going to affect the market today on this game so if you're excited for icon swaps number two and maybe a flashback recent SBC, hit the thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe if you are new now we know that icon swaps is coming right the loading screen tells us and once again we have looked over these choices these are the confirmed leaked rewards from icon swaps number two and you know some things that we know about icon swaps that are basically factual every single time that they drop yes we have like the first nine tokens or what we usually see dropped the first day. Now, there are some rumors out there that are saying that this time for Icon Swaps 2, we'll get all 18 tokens at once. I really don't see that happening. They've never done that before, as far as I can remember. So I think just like Icon Swaps 1, we'll have nine tokens released, then probably uh, a date where those objectives expire, and then nine more tokens released after that now again if you're looking at the best value for icon swaps today in my opinion especially right now we were talking about this on stream earlier these times 25 packs there are uh 18 man of the match cards that are in packs right now and 22 different road to the final items that are all in packs right now at the moment i feel like if you're going to be going after icon swaps whatever you're going to be going for if you're getting any of these first three packs I would try to grind those first and get those packs this week because, again, having the potential to pack all 22 promo cards, which is a lot of promo items on this game, there's a lot of those cards in packs, but also having the Man of the Match cards in packs as well gives you a few more fodder cards, you know, and, and some other decent items, you know, Dybala, the Romero, the Cliver, the Lukaku, the Jota. So I think that if you're grinding swaps, either any of these first three packs if that's any of your goals this week i would focus on getting those first like somebody was talking about hey i wanted to do the 82 times 25 the 83 times 25 and gerard right boom that'd be your 18 tokens i would go and get those two packs first because i think it's really good value right now if that's a word right if you can think of it in that way really good value to open packs because there is so much that is out in the game in terms of packs right now at this moment so just want to throw that out there of course um these are the leaked rewards though so we expect to see these dropped into the game today of course people would only be able to attain nine tokens from the objectives that would drop today unless ea do something crazy and drop more than nine tokens at one time now again we talk about objectives right these were the objectives that were released with icon swaps one we had silver air um and and then in icon swaps one as well for the second set of objectives you know they're all pretty similar so we don't have any leaks right now about what the objectives are actually going to be but oftentimes they're kind of similar right you pick some silvers you, you pick a nation and then you know, that's kind of, you know, first owner. That's something that you usually see as well. It'll probably be under the milestones tab today, just so that you know where it is when you go to search in the game. So maybe stock your club with some silvers, right? They're all really cheap. I'm hearing at the moment, Bra Brazilian silvers, Argentinians, Portuguese, you know, it's probably a good shout maybe to stock your club with a few of those just to maybe stay ahead uh, of what might be coming in terms of objectives today, where people would go out and try to get their icon swap games in um, and you know, that's going to be the big part of content for today on Monday is icon swaps. And we've been talking about it a little bit before. How is that going to impact the market? I'm very curious to see how the market is impacted today, um, and see how many people go out and start grinding the stuff. I specifically remember on the first set of icon swaps, when it was released, Ronaldo, who was like 490,000 coins at the moment. Uh, at that time of the game, there was a lot of these meta cards that, you know, they didn't have a huge drop off, but like, I think Ronaldo at that time dropped off like 20, 30,000 coins. I do think that you will see some of the market drop off today as people sell cards from their teams 
to go pursue these objectives and the rewards that are inside of those. So I think that'll impact the market a little bit today. Um, and, you know, I got to talk about SBC fodder too, as we maybe talk about what's going on in the market right now, SBC fodder is dropping a lot uh, at the moment. And you can tell not just by looking at this page on Footbin with all the cheapest players by rating, but if you take a look at the home page and you see some of these SBCs, look at the price of Ben Yedder, 280,000 coins so much cheaper than he was it's like 60 70 000 coins cheaper than what he was the eric by showdown sbc is down like 30k in value so all of these sbcs that are out right now are down in value and everything's looking kind of cheap just because sbc fodder is down now if you want to invest in fodder because you're like man nate this stuff kings of coman is 16 000 coins he was over 20k last week on thursday with all of the hype content that was out I understand why you want to invest in fodder, but in my opinion, I feel like we're headed for a little bit of a, a fodder downturn. Um, I don't know what they're gonna do with all the SBCs that are upcoming. I feel like we just don't have a ton of hype SBCs that are you know, upcoming. You know, Last week we had not one, but two icon upgrade packs with the mid icon player pick being so popular. That has now gone away. Unless it comes back today and we get more leaks, of crazy SBCs, whether it's players, whether it's more of those like reunion player picks or stuff like that. We need that sort of content in this game like multiple times per week to keep fodder at these high prices that it's at, right? 16K for an 86 rated card, that's kind of actually inflated, right? Usually what we call low for 86s is like under 15, 14,000 coins for both consoles. So fodder has been up a lot recently, and I just want to kind of put that into perspective as well. Fodder is usually more expensive in this time of the year because there's a lot of SBC content as EA is trying to keep people engaged with the game. Uh, but I think we might just be headed for a couple days where it actually drops further down. And just through a little research, I look back at last year in uh, FIFA 21, Icon Swap Set 2 dropped on the 19th of February or 18th of February last year. Take a look at 87 Di Maria. He went from 41,000 coins down to 34K. 88 Tony Cruz went from uh, 48,000 coins down to 43K. So I, I think that there's a possibility that we would see some fodder drop off. Now, you may be like, Nate, people are going to be opening these fat packs with times 25, 83, 82, and 81 pluses, and then they're going to go out and do SBCs. And I'm like, yeah, you know what? That is a very fair point. And every single year is different in terms of what content is out at the time when they drop icon swaps. But I just feel like right now, there's a lot of player SBCs, but the stuff that really gets people going are these types of SBCs and especially that player pick. So if the mid icon player pick comes back, uh, if they keep releasing those gamble, like the year in review or the party bag type SBCs, those, if those are released and repeatable, then I guess I could see fodder continuing to go up. Uh, but all I'm saying is, just be careful with it. So if you want to buy some fodder right now, all that I would do is really just go and do a club stock. I wouldn't do too much else more than that. And also people are going to be getting fodder from, uh, from upgrade packs. I really think today it's a Monday, right? And we have all these insane cards that are in packs. I would be very surprised if EA Sports did not drop upgrade packs today. Of course, the 80 plus player pick, which was released during the first week of the um, Future Stars promo was a huge, huge hit. Uh, and that SBC was incredibly OP. I really hope they bring that one back because with all the special cards that are in packs right now, a player pick upgrade pack would actually bang. It would be so good. It'd be really, really OP. So I really hope that they bring that back. Now, of course, they're probably going to drop like 81 plus double packs today instead or something like that, but we can hope for something insane. Now, also, you'll notice that our Gareth Bale road to the final card right now. Uh, again, we're on the con we're on the, um, we're on the topic of Monday content to content we could see today. This card has dropped like 20,000 coins in the last couple hours. I think there's some leaks going around that the flashback Antoine Griezmann is going to be today because the last time that we saw the first leak about uh, an Antoine Griezmann flashback, this Gareth Bale dropped in price some. He's dropping more right now. I've seen a couple people tweet about it. Um, not really credible sources. So again, believe that with a, a pinch of salt per usual. Um, but it sounds like that Griezmann might be today on Monday. And I think this, that would be why this bail card is down a little bit in price right now. So just be a little bit careful with that. And speaking of these road to the final cards, of course, we've got weekend league rewards that are coming out, uh, today and people will be opening those if they haven't already. There's a lot of these cards that people are, are trying to invest in 
um, you know, Denayer is a very, very popular one, right? This is giving me, if you guys remember from team one of Future Stars, from Sunday night into Monday, um, Elmas rose a ton as a very hyped player. Denayer is giving me Elmas vibes. Uh, the only thing I'm going to tell you, a lot of people are investing right now, and it makes sense, right? Normal, you know, mindset would be, okay, it's a great time to invest in some of these cards. Road to the finals. Some of them have games this week where they could potentially get upgraded. A lot of the pack supply happens on the weekends. We get packs on, uh, you know, the foot champions rewards being pushed out to everybody on uh, early Monday mornings. A lot of people are investing in these cards. I think we could see some of them go up, right? Telez is already up a little bit. Again, I already mentioned the Denayer. He has already risen in price a little bit from where he was. There's a couple other cards in here. Kai Havertz keeps slowly inching uh, higher in price because people know that those are some of the items that have games this week, and they're hoping that with those teams potentially playing and winning games, that those cards would rise with the hype of an upgrade coming soon. So that's why they're getting invested in. Now, again, it's the only thing that's counteracting that in my mind and why I'm being a little bit careful with some of this stuff is Icon Swaps is again today. And I just want to be a little bit careful with that. I know these are live cards. I know they're decently rare and a lot of people want to get their hands on them. Uh, but I feel like that, of course, you know, you got to be careful with this sort of situation. Yes, we could see some cards rise up after Weekend League Rewards into the day today on Monday. And then maybe after 6 p.m. UK when the content drops, and Icon Swaps is released in this game, then maybe you see some of the prices uh, drop down a little bit. All I'm gonna say is with a lot of people investing and maybe having that kind of thought process in mind, just be careful, right? Just be careful because when, when there's a lot of people investing, that can mean some very interesting things. And you know that can cause a lot of panic and undercutting if there is really insane content today on Monday. Not saying that there is, but I don't know. I just have something in my gut that tells me to be careful. So I'm kind of being careful with these cards. Um, I have bought a few, but not very many. And, you know, I'm just I'm just picking my spots very carefully um, and, and hoping to see some stuff that will maybe rise up a little bit. I was watching Quadrado. Uh, I'm kind of watching, you know, Kempembe, kind of watching Renato Sanchez just because these cards are high tier, very popular, and they're also really rare. So might try a couple flips on some of these cards. But again, with all the hype being on the icon swaps today, I'm just going to be I'm going to be careful with it, right? And I'm going to play a little bit cautious. It's been a really, really great week uh, of making coins the past two weeks. So I don't want to jeopardize that at all. And I want to stay in the winning margin and I want to stay in the positive. So that's why I'm playing it a little cautious right now, especially with, you know, upgrade packs, maybe a Griezmann today. Fodder is pretty cheap. And if people are going to go out and grind objectives, you know, that's again going to be more things that will turn people away from really going out and um, grinding upgrading their team and opening um you know not opening but going and buying players off of the market to be upgrading their side so that's going to be one of the most interesting things to keep an eye on today and to watch out for um but you know these cards right here the mars that was dropped yesterday it is a pretty dope card it almost feels like the second week or even the first week of future stars with the mini release i mean these cards are expensive like riyad mares being He's over a million coins. He was extinct yesterday. Over a million coins. Right now he's 1.03. I see no reason in the world that this this card should be 1. 1 million coins. I feel like this card should be six to seven hundred thousand coins. Uh, yes, he does have five star skills. He's medium, medium. Yes, it is Riyad Mahrez, and yes, of course, he's 91 rated. So what really is being built into the price of this card right now is the fact that he is hopefully going to keep winning as City keep winning. And that's going to press his card up higher and higher and higher in value. And that's what's going to keep his price high, right? And that's why there's he's kind of inflated because of that, right? So I don't like this card's price right now. Of course, I know City are up and it's they're going to get upgraded, right? And they have to win the second leg and he's going to get a plus two and he's going to go to a 93 rated card. And that seems basically confirmed. It's the same situation with Sadio Mane, right? Sadio Mane got a price range update yesterday to one, he was 1 1.6 mil and he was extinct. Man, these cards are just so, so expensive. And I mean, I understand a little bit why they're expensive, but the other thing to consider with especially Mane and the Riyad Mahrez card is that we don't have Champions League games um, for the, uh, the second leg of the knockout rounds for those teams that have already played. That second week is like not until the first week of March, I'm pretty sure. Round of 16, second leg, 
is let's see tuesday march 8th wednesday march 9th and then march 16th 15th we're like a month away for the second leg almost on a couple of these cards three weeks away for some of these so again a guy like Mane, yes he might be getting a plus two but that's also a long time from now so I think that the time between now and then, there's a whole lot of potential for EA Sports to release some crazy content that would make a card like Mane or make a card like the Mares drop off in price a little bit. So that's why if you're looking to maybe flip any of these cards that are still live, like that's why I'm keeping an eye on Renato Sanchez because yes, they are playing and they're, they're playing Chelsea, right? So they're definitely not favored, but, but they play tomorrow on Tuesday. So we're gonna have more price movements on the cards that are active in these four games and the cards from Europa League and Conference League that are active in the next, you know, two to three days later on this week. Uh, so that's something to kind of keep an eye on as well. Those are the cards that I would really hone in on and focus on because those are the ones that are going to have movements based on their actual upgrade potential. And we could have some of these items, depending on who wins um, on the, these knockout games, we could have upgrades by the end of this week on some of these cards, right? That's where some of the hype here is built in. That's why you see Havertz rising up as people think, okay, they're going to win against Lille. So Havertz has gone from like 214K on Saturday. He's been continually bought up. He's now 250 as his card continues to go higher. Same thing with Alex Tellez, right? He's not up as much, but he's 265,000 coins. He was 240. Uh, those are the best two examples right there of cards that have continued to rise of course, heading into their games later on this week because they are a they are clear advantage. There's a clear advantage to those teams to potentially advance. So that's the one thing that I would be careful with and just a word of caution for these road to the finals. But also on the, on the flip side, you look at these cards and you're like, man, these are road to the finals that are alive, that are upgrading. And you think about a card like Renato as well. Maybe his price right now is dropping off a little bit extra because people expect them to lose. And that's why he's you know down 400K from where he was on the weekend while other cards have gone up in price. So it's, it's a whole situation and something that we're keeping an eye on with some of these cards. Yes, they're very rare. Yes, they're very hyped. But you know the ones that really have games this week, those are the ones that I'm gonna be focusing on. And I hope that EA upgrades cards soon. I hope that they don't push it off and wait until they all of the, the first round knockout legs are played um, you know, you know, the second legs as well. Hopefully they upgrade after the first leg and not wait for the second leg. That's what I'm trying to say. So hopefully they upgrade these cards sooner rather than later. That, that would be a huge, huge thing for these items. So just keep an eye on these today. Of course, we mentioned the bail that is dropping in price. If a Griezmann was not to come today, I know this bail is, is not getting an upgrade anytime uh, soon because their second leg isn't for a while and they have to win that game to get the upgrade. Um, and if they do win the game, uh, then technically they would be going on to the next round as well because they're down 1-0. So if they win, then you know they're winning on extra time or something. Um, and then actually, I don't know how it works with penalties. I, I don't forget how it works with showdown cards and road to the finals, but an outright win. I, if, I believe that if in the second leg uh, of the PSG Real Madrid, in the second leg of that knockout round, if they were to actually like draw and PSG would go through, then Kempembe would get a plus one and Gareth Bale would not get upgraded at all. So you really want a team to win. You don't want any draws for any of these matches. Um, you know, again, I don't know how it comes down to when, you know, I don't know if it goes to penalties first. I don't know if they go extra time. Then it's probably got to be extra time plus penalties. But I don't know if EA will upgrade these road to the finals if it's a draw in 90 minutes time. But then let's say... Uh, a team goes on to win in extra time or in penalties if that counts as a win. I know for like some of the showdown cards in years past, a draw at extra time or, or at 90 minutes would actually be a, you know, a plus one instead of a plus two. So that's something that I guess we'll probably, we'll run into that issue when we get there. But again, the, the main premise is we might have upgrades on some of these road to the final cards by the end of this week and also you know keep an eye out for these uh man of the match items just keep an eye out on them i mean some of them look really really cheap and i feel like they're undervalued i think this christian romero card is undervalued this is an 86 rated christian romero card kuti romero 22k it's actually it's on par and it's cheaper than his 84 rated inform that has of course way plus four pace like what a boost that ea gave to this card so I think that this card's pretty cheap as well. Maybe he gets really low tonight during that squad, not squad battles, during the 
a weekend league rewards time frame. So I might pick a few of these up because yes, man of the matches are really good cards to trade with. Yes, they are going to be a lot more supply than they ever have been this year. Uh, that's just the way of the market, right? I don't, I don't expect these cards to be uh, super duper insane in terms of like rising out of packs. It's going to depend on the item, but these cards are definitely not going to be as rare as they were in years past. But again, that's kind of what we're looking at today on the market. We're looking at all the cards and packs, seeing how the market reacts after rewards. But then, of course, after 6 p.m. today uh, and with Icon Swaps number two dropping, I think that you will see some cards slide down a bit in value. So again, reinforcing that narrative that we talked about earlier this weekend, a lot of stuff is still kind of like chilling. Some cards are down a little bit, like Golden Bappe is now under 800,000 coins. Uh, and I think you could see these cards slide a little bit more. I don't think it's going to be a drastic sell-off or a drastic panic sell. Just probably a few cards sliding down a little bit more in price as the um, as the demand shifts, if you will. And people playing games where they're playing those games, not with their main team and objectives as that demand shifts. So that's the video for today. It's a big day of content on Monday. I hope for Griezmann. I hope for the 80-plus player pick. Maybe some other sort of content. Maybe EA is just going to drop a banger day of Monday content since yesterday on Sunday was literally just the road to the final uh, mini release. And then this uh, this Milestones Bundesliga League player, Tommy, uh, which is not very well received, I think. With icon swaps on the way, a lot of people are probably not going to want to spend time grinding that. So that is the video for today, boys. Again, if you're excited, leave a thumbs up for icon swaps. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the foot account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.